Harley, how do you think that went today? Amazing. We all touched the ball and then we scored. Like, playing at the back is like good and that. But then when we started um, crossing it into the box, we started scoring more. Thomas, hmm? how did that go for you today? Fabulous. Um, I, I love I loved it when the whole um, team touched the ball and they scored. But, yeah. Harley, how's the season going for your team? It's really good. We played, eight. Eight. We played at eight matches and we won both, all of them. Oh. And Thomas, yep. what are you expecting for the rest of the season? Win all of them. Wow. Uh, Harley, lift the trophy up. So, what's that trophy for today? Uh, man of the match from managers. And Thomas, lift your trophy up. Um, I got parents man of the match. Well done, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Right, guys, talk me through the the game today. Well, the Bath just think we the boys just were great from the first whistle, weren't they? The they press were. was good. They we set him into them what we wanted to do every week. They play it, put it into training and it pays off into the games. So we had 10 boys that played and I had 10 man of the matches today. So I'm a proud manager, same as the two coaches Absolutely. that I've got with me. Yeah, we, had, we was against a very good opposition and we really had to, had to step up today and we managed it perfectly. And the boys done what we asked them to and they owned the game. They were really good, proud yep. of them. Arguably, by far the best team we've played um, since the start of the season. <clears throat> Most organised, uh, technically the best team, and our boys have stepped up to the plate. Um, and as the other two have said, fantastic. Can't fault them. And how's your season gone so far? Very well. Yeah. Very well. I mean, we ain't allowed to say, because obviously we're under nine, so we're not allowed to say uh, what we win, what we lose, what we draw, but we've played eight games and we've done well in eight games. Yeah. Let's say it that way. Yeah, the boys <laughs> have done us proud every game. Yeah, really proud. And have you set the bar so high that you're expecting that to maintain all the way through the season now? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, our league reshuffles, restructures at the start of November uh, into ability groups, so we'll be going up against uh, tougher teams now. So we do expect them to yeah, raise the bar and repeat what they've done today. And what's the best thing for you about coaching new football? I love it. I just get a buzz out of it. Absolutely. I love football. And I love coaching these ten boys. We we see the boys grow day in day out, training session after training session, game after game. It is fantastic to see them grow as people, not just as um, footballers. And they have a pleasure to coach as well. They listen, they do as they're told, don't they? Yeah. And then they perform on a Sunday after Sunday morning or Sunday afternoon for us. Yeah, we've so. got ten very good lads playing for us, mm. and it's a joy to watch and coach. Must have been great to see Ernie Batten wander over and watch you going today. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> but he, I think he, um, he picked a very good one to come and watch. I think he picked a good one to come and watch. Yeah, good for the first team manager to come and watch an under nines game of football, which yeah. is great for the boys. Which I think sums the club up, doesn't it? I don't think there's many clubs the at our level that have the, the first top. team manager turning up on a Sunday morning to come and watch under nines. Yeah. So brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. Thanks, guys. Well done.